football on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the hill for the Dodgers, Shohei Otani. What do we have on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Here comes a pitch. That's outside. And that's how he gets started here in Los Angeles. Right-hander kicks deals just off the outside edge. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. Rojas under it. And out number one on the grab. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. So here's Wade now. A little bit high. Ball one. Otani, the former rookie of the year, he throws a slurve, a four-seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. And another ball. One out, base is empty. That one misses, and that's ball three. And he walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Man at first with one gone. And up next for San Francisco, Elliot Ramos. Swings through that one, 0 oh and 1. Just missed. Man at first, one away. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. Oh, well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next offering way off the plate. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two two on the way. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And now the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Settles under this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So the Giants leave one. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium, getting the nod on the mound, Logan Webb. What do you got on him, Chris? Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here 
and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes left hand batter waits that's in there no balls two strikes Swing and he breaks his bat. One up, one down. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand left hand hitter waits right through there for a strike Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023 Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success and it helped Freeman produce a ninth oh can't pick it up cleanly The batter now will be Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. And there's a ball. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Freeman at first, one gone. And that drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Runner on the move. And a base hit. Freeman headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And that's in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. He goes down looking. Well, oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. And up next for Los Angeles, Andy Pajes. First pitch swinging. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Oh. 
swing and a miss and that is that a lot of adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning Second inning, set to go. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Otani back to work. There's the strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Fouls it back with two strikes. Kicks and deals. And that one is inside ball one. And a ball and two strikes. And another ball. And that's outside. Three and two now. Outside and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Michael Conforto will climb in. Breaking ball in there for a strike. With the go ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. And now the count is even. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Next offering upstairs. Mike Yastrzemski waits on deck. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Way to lay off that pitch down. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses, and it's three and two. Tyro Estrada up next. First and second here, no outs. Strike three, got him swinging. And that is a big first out. I well, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to.
Cairo Estrada to the plate. Fought off foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Chapman at second. Conforto over at first, so going away. Next pitch is outside. And that's in the dirt. Two two now. And that skips in the dirt. Brett Wisely waits to bat for the Giants. Runners at first and second with one gone. In the air out towards right center. On the move. He's got it. Runner tags and will move up to third. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Brett Wisely, the next Giant to hit. And that's down it away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And the Giants score first, it's one zip. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So the lineup flips over, and now the DH, Jorge Soler. 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch just misses. Righty delivers. Just off the inside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. And that's off the inside edge. And now 3 0. Oh. Lamont Wade Jr. on deck for San Francisco. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. In there at the knees. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. here in L.A. ready to go for the last half of the inning and at the plate for the Dodgers James Outman the wind of the pitch swing and a tapper that rolls foul you know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about and a breaking ball drops in for a strike The 0 2. And that's outside. Next pitch is outside. And 
and here it comes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Miguel Rojas at the play. That one finds the zone. Going one. The shortstop takes the ball. The Giants up by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Line and a base hit into right. Chris Taylor now. And he takes one right on the black. Strike one. Ground ball to first, could be two. The throw to second is offline. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Right through there for a strike. One out. Runners at first and second. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. And the right hater deals and fouled off. Now, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change ups. Probably won't see another one here. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Squeezes it. The bat, number nine, second baseman, Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Not close with that one, and it's one and oh. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count, just not able to square it up. Two on, two outs. Late swing, foul to the left. And he deals. Good job to fight that one off. Rojas, the lead runner at second. Taylor on at first with two down. Laser could be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. And a 2-1 ball game now. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Reached on an infield single his first time. 
There's the strike. Runner at second, two down. Bounced up the middle, wisely. On the run, throw to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nine. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Here's Elliot Ramos. Struck out swinging his first time. Misses off the plate. 1 and 0. Oh. The pitch. That's in there. Strike one. And he grounds one to the right side. To second, and it pulls the shortstop off the bag. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. First and second, no outs. Patrick Bailey getting ready to hit. And the righty deals. Outside, and it's one and one. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. So the tying run at second. Lifted in the air, right center field. Pajas has a beat on it. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Two on, one out. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. The walk and a run scored his first time. Hit in the air, center field. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. He'll score on the sack fly. We are tied at two. Productive at that for sure right there. Nice sack fly, ties up the ball game, and now they've got to look for a way to go ahead. The batter will be Michael Conforto. One for one with a single so far. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Two outs. That just misses. And a count two and one. Ramos off of first with two away. 
Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two-two now. That's inside. Three-two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Mike Yastrzemski waits to bat for the Giants. Payoff pitch. And ball four to a board. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. Mike Yastrzemski up here. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one missed. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Bottom of the inning, and up to the plate is Will Smith. The right-hander back to work. Ripped on a line to center. Ramos makes the grab, and there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. And the first pitch misses for ball one. All tied up here in the last half of the third. And another ball. 2 -oh count you really don't want to give in here you've got to work the edges really execute a pitch hopefully you can get back into this count and that one a little below the knees three and oh and yeah, there's ball four pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about one down. Next to hit, Andy Pajas. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Out in front and foul to the left side. Righty to the plate. Now a one and a one. That one ripped, but foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And a one-two. Got him looking. And there's two away. And now the center fielder, James Outman, went down on strikes his first time through. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Swings through that one for strike one.
swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Towards first, wait. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for L.A. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Start of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Otani back to work. And that one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Brett Wisely now at the plate. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Just missed. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and one. And that one fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And this is inside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That misses. Counts full, three and two. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. Thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Tyler Fitzgerald. Now it's the DH, Jorge Soler. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Otani keeping an eye on him base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch and that's off the inside edge and that's ball one there's a strike this is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, dude. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count, one and two. Got him! Two gone. And digging in for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Outside low, and that is ball one. That's towards center. Outman under it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. One left for San Francisco. Score remains 2-2. So coming into the game now on defense, Tyler Fitzgerald. He's in at shortstop. And here is Miguel Rojas. Singled and scored his first time. The wind of the pitch. Just missed.
Next offering is in for a strike. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. And that just misses. It's a good take. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Here comes Chris Taylor. Oh, for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That one not close. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. And that drops in for a strike. One down, base is empty. There's the strike of the knees. Struck him out looking. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Fly to left his first time. That misses. 1-0. Oh. Okay. Big swing and a miss. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Dodgers go down quietly, and this game is still tied at two and two. And we're back, leading off Elliot Ramos. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And a good eye there. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Fonda also getting ready. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's a ball and a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Now the Giants four hitter, Patrick Bailey. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Kicks and fires. Line drive, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's Matt Chapman. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1.
and a pitch. One away, tie game, go ahead, run, stands at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swings through that one for strike two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. And here is Michael Conforto. And he swings over the top there. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And fouled off. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. Ball one low. And just misses with that one. That's a really good take. The pitch. And another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Mike Yastrzemski waiting for a turn at the plate. Got him looking. That's the third out. Back here at Chavez Ravine. John Chavez with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Gavin Lux. The wide to kick the pitch. Line drive. That's a fair ball inside third. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A.B. could end this one. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for two. First pitch, and he just misses. With the winning run standing at second. Last half of inning number five. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike one. The winning run on second base. Right side, Estrada. Tosses to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith, known for his late-inning heroics. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This will be a big pickup if he can push a run across. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. So now it's the four hole hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. The 0 1. 
Fastball for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Two outs. Out to short. Fitzgerald fires the first on the run. That's the third out. And we're headed to extras. So the Dodgers leave one through five. All even at 2-2. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Daniel Hudson. Now, Mike Yastrzemski. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Right-handed reliever. That one is absolutely belted. And it one-hops the wall. The run comes in to score from second. It's 3-2. What a way to get it going. A double to not calm the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places, and now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that's in there for strike one. Man at second. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Johan Ramirez. The right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Bonda, the lefty, warming up as well. Smoked on the ground a second. In plenty of time to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. So up next, Tyler Fitzgerald. Came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. That misses the zone. Ball one. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. The 1-0. -oh. The shortstop takes the ball. Running that good fastball up on the hitter's inside. If nothing else, it keeps him from diving out over the plate to get those arms extended on the pitch away. Good hitters count the 2-0. -oh. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One run across in the frame so far, and here in extra innings. And now it's even up. Got him. Two out. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in. So now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. That one to first. Freeman takes it himself. They limit the damage here. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And the home team down a run.
back now and on the mound the closer Camilo Doval and I can't imagine any save is an easy one you're holding a small lead on the scoreboard and you know those hitters are going to give you the best